chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again let us take a few more solved questions on pythagoras theorem center in center circumcenter these are all exam level questions and they have been asked in the previous years questions in triangle abc angle bac is 90 degrees let us draw this triangle first so it could be like this angle bac is 90 degrees and ab is half of bc this ab has been given as half of bc then the angle acb is what we have to find out this angle we need to think out of box in this case a special thinking is required let us see this is a circle and if this is a diameter of the circle then by a property of the circle angle in a semicircle is always of 90 degrees so if we draw a triangle on this diameter it will be a right angled triangle if this is the center of this circle then we can now compare these two situations we can think this of as a diameter and this as an angle on the semicircle so if this is the diameter and let us uh, put the labels also c a b and let us join this to this if this is the radius r this is the radius r then this is also of radius r now he says ab is half of bc we can see that bc is equal to 2r this is r and this is r the diameter is 2r therefore ab is equal to half of bc is equal to half of 2r which is equal to r so therefore we can label it as r and we can now observe that this triangle will be an equilateral triangle therefore this angle will be of 60 degrees all sides are equal so this angle will be 60 and if we see the overall picture this triangle then if this is 90 this is 60 then this angle must obviously be 30 degrees so that 30 plus 60 is 90 and 90 plus 90 is 180 therefore the answer is 30 degrees so we have seen in a number of our questions that if you have a right angled triangle then many times putting that right angled triangle inside a circle with diameter on the hypotenuse some problems can be solved and it does give a way out and it often becomes a shortcut method let us move to our next question now the in radius of an equilateral triangle is 3 cm then the length of each median is what the triangle has been given as equilateral let us draw a equilateral triangle here the in radius first of all note down this property that circumcenter circumcenter in center centroid they are one and the same point one and the same point if the triangle is equilateral if the triangle is equi 
lateral. So if this point is that point where circumcenter also lies, in center also lies, centroid also lies, then this point is also the in center. So we can say that this height has been given to us as 3 centimeter and the equilateral triangle is fully symmetrical. So the median of this equilateral triangle will also be along the same line and this will be also the centroid. Centroid also and in center also. Now we know from a property of the centroid that it divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1. Two parts of the length of the median they lie above the point and one point lies below the point. Therefore, if this is 3 cm, what are we to find? We are to find the length of the complete median. We are to find the full length. Now, this length will be twice this one. So this will be 2 into 3 equal to 6 cm and therefore the length of the entire median will be 6 plus 3 equal to 9 cm. So you should remember one property of the equilateral triangle that this same line is the median, this same line is the angle bisector of this one and this same line is the perpendicular bisector of the opposite side which means that the circumcenter, the incenter and the centroid all of them are on the same point and the same line acts as all of them. Let us move to our next question now.